What's up guys, Squints here. So today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial and I thought I'll pick up my tutorial series which I left about three months ago. Um, so this is going to be episode five I believe. But I'm going to start picking this up again and do some modelling and things like that to help you guys get better. So today I'm going to be doing the long awaited meta ball. Um, a lot of you have been asking for this for ages so I thought I'd um, learn it and show you guys like the easiest ways and the best tips for it. So all you would just want to do is open up Cinema 4D and um, I'm just going to be teaching you how to do something like this. And as you can see, you can edit it however you um, like. So I'm just going to delete this. So all I've got is a, um, a new Cinema 4D. It's clear, nothing's in here. And we're just going to start from the beginning. So you want to go to this icon here, click and hold and go to Sphere. And now we've got this, we just want to open a cloner, so you want to go to MoGraph and Cloner, about the sixth down. And you just want to drag the sphere onto the cloner in here. And now you've done that, you can just minimize this here and make sure you're on cloner and come down to mode. Now I'm going to be doing this with um, in the grid mode, so like so, and make sure it's on 333, um, that's the best way in my opinion. And you just want to... Um, make them more apart like so. So simply just drag each one of these like so. That's nice. We'll just zoom out a little and we've got a nice space between each of them for them to um, join together. So now um, we're going to add the meta ball straight in. So you want to go to the fourth along and just click meta balls. And we're just going to simply drag the cloner onto the meta balls. And as you can see, it creates a really big blob. And to do this, um, you just want to use the first hole um, value. And you just want to drag it up like so. And put it around 200 to 300. So I'm going to put it about 250, 260. And you just want to go to subdivision and change this to 10. Hit enter. And that should be good to go. Um, and as you can see, um, they're all like kind of joined in and they all look the same. So we want to randomize this. So you just want to add a random effector. So MoGraph effector random. And we're simply going to um, open up the cloner and drag the random into the effectors here. And as you can see, it's already randomized this. So um, we're just going to click on the random and you want to go to parameter and click scale and then click uniform scale. And here, um, if you drag this up and down, you can um, create different effects like so. Now this randomize each, um, each blobs, um, how they connect and um, <coughs> the size of the blobs as well. Now this is just one way of doing it. There are a lot of other ways you can do this. Um, by going into cloner and just editing all of these like so um, you can do this how you wish um, that was just the easiest way and the best way in my opinion so if you say you want more blobs you can just um, hit all these up to five go to random and change how it looks now my computer is going to lag like hell doing this but um, you get the idea and I hope you enjoyed it guys. So this is probably the easiest way in my opinion anyway. So um, kind of mess around with it. Um, see what you can do with it and enjoy. So hope you like this guys. Tip Tuesday on Tuesday as usual. Leave comments on what more tutorials you want and tips as well. And I'll see what I can do for you. So um, enjoy the snow and enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Squints. I'll see you later.